Well, big picture, um, it's about such factors as time, place, topic. But then when you start looking at sources, uh, you start with research questions. You know what you're actually interested in addressing. And uh, at a certain point, it almost becomes unconscious, especially after you've been doing this for a while. But uh, you very quickly can see, uh, I, have a, I have a working argument that I'm starting with. This is my working assumption. I think this is what I'm going to argue. I very quickly uh, can see, does this support my argument, in which case I want to use it? Does this contradict my argument, in which case I absolutely want to use it because I need to refine my argument in that case. You can't just ignore those things. And then also, I'm always interested in, uh, does this, is this an anecdote that adds color to the presentation of my argument? Even if it's not strictly speaking relevant to the argument, is it something that adds color to make the book more interesting? Because history is also about the presentation style. And then finally, there will be things where I quickly can tell there's just really no way that this is going to fit in either to support or to contradict or even to help me present. And historians uh, need to be able to put information in its proper context. Historians need to be able to understand the provenance of a source. And a provenance means that uh, uh, information is not just neutral. Uh, as I like to tell my students in class, um, I give them a primary source to read, and they have it because maybe it's published in an anthology for them as a textbook so they can discuss it in class. It's compiled so that somebody can discuss it in class. But that's not why it was originally written. I always tell my students, this primary source was not created so that you would have a primary source to discuss in class. It was created for a purpose by a person who was trying to accomplish something. And um, so you have to actually ask yourself, why was this source created? Who created it? Did that person have biases? Maybe not political biases, but biases because this person happened to be from one social class or another, or one nation or another, et cetera, et cetera.